Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel, and today I'm talking about a nasal condition called rebound congestion and rhinitis medicamentosa. These are horrible problems. And they happen in person too bad, like a cold or a flu, they may get a sinus infection with frontal headache in the forehead and the cheeks, and then they have green or yellow mucus coming out of their nose. Or we may have allergic rhinitis, which is just like hay fever, and that's found in 10 to 30% of the world population. Either one of those conditions, if we treat this with nasal sprays, particularly Afrin, that's the most dangerous and well-noted one, we find that after five to seven days of using the Afrin, we can't get rid of it. And every time we stop using it, our nose blows up like a balloon and we can't breathe. And it's a horrible feeling. And you're kind of hooked on it. So I'm going to read a comment about this. That medic rhinitis medicamentosa, which is nasal spray addiction, is a result a rebound congestion caused by prolonged use of these drugs. And the drugs that we're talking about here are oxymetazolone, phenylephrine, xylometazolone, and naphtalazone nasal sprays. And once you're on it, uh, it's really hard to get off. And we may need to see an ear, nose, throat, or an otoid laryngitis just for help. Some people have used hot compresses. They've used uh, taking um, their allergy medicine. They use hot compresses of the nose or humidifier. Some people have been able to put saline in the nose and have that to open up the nose a little bit while you try to get off the, the uh, nasal sprays. But it's a difficult problem. People are miserable when they try to get off of this. Some people are addicted for life. And if you do it chronically, it makes your nasal turbinates grow. And so even when you get off the medicine, they're so full that you can't breathe through the nose. So some of those people have to end up having to have surgery. So be on your guard against over-treating uh, cold or flu allergic symptoms with nasal spray, particularly Afrin, because it's a, a road to peril and addiction. But God bless all you folks for listening to this. Hope you never get in this condition. And I'll see you again on the next talk.